the number of anti-Muslim hate crimes rose in 2015 to 2017 to the highest level since the aftermath of 9-11. It's known as the rise in Islamophobia. Islamophobia is defined as the irrational fear, prejudice, and hatred directed against Islam or Muslims. It was a term coined in the early 20th century, but became increasingly salient in the past couple decades. Islamophobia is a relatively new term, but as a phenomenon, it dates back to the early days of Islam in ancient Mecca. The first victim of Islamophobia wasn't the hijabi in northern London who was assaulted for her headscarf, nor was it the brother in Manhattan who was spat on and told to go back to his country. The first victim of Islamophobic rhetoric was the Holy Prophet himself. He introduced two teachings that shook the foundations of 7th century Arabia. The first being, you will only find tranquility and inner peace through submission to the one true God. And second, people are equal before their creator like the teeth of a cone, irrespective of the color of their skin or their racial affiliation. For this, he was ridiculed, harassed, and abused. He was called a madman, a magician, a soothsayer. He was physically assaulted on a number of occasions and he was ultimately driven out of his homeland. When the Islamophobic climate became utterly suffocating, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals Surah Al-Hijr verses 97 to 99. Allah says, We indeed know that your heart is distressed by what they say. You find that even the Holy Prophet felt pain and felt distress because of the Islamophobic rhetoric. But then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives advice to the first victim of Islamophobia. Allah says, فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَكُمْ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ وَعْبُدْ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ So glorify and praise your Lord and be of those who prostrate to Him and worship your Lord until there comes to you the certainty. You find that Allah's advice to His Prophet in the face of Islamophobic rhetoric is simple. Be unapologetically Muslim. Remember me, because through my remembrance, the hearts will be put at ease. You can't calm the storm, so stop trying. What you can do is calm your heart. The storm will pass. And the way that you calm your heart is through Allah's remembrance. As Allah says, Verily, with the remembrance of Allah are the hearts at ease. Brothers and sisters, allow your moral uprightness and integrity to shatter the misconceptions about Islam. And bear in mind that the truth will always attract adversity. Pain is temporary, but the pleasure of Allah is the prize that is everlasting. And remember the words of Imam al Hussein salam on the day of Arafah. When he said, Ilahi Mada Wajadaman Fakadak, Wamelavi Fakadaman Wajadak. O my Lord, the one who has you, what has he lost? And the one who has lost you, what does he have? Wasallahu ala Muhammadin wa alihi tahirin.